The wings of doom. I made that up. What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again. And I am bringing you guys the latest information for the release of EIP 1559. We should know by the end of the week exactly what day it will be, but we are getting closer and closer to a confirmed date. We're going to get into it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access, and after that you need to head over to the membership tab, scroll down, and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media, and in that section there will be a secret registration URL to join Rocket Chat, where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. Welcome back. So, hopping right into it, let's just pull up my desktop right here. Anthony Sassano has tweeted out that the mainnet date block number for London EIP 1559 is expected to be discussed and possibly announced at this week's Ethereum Core Devs meeting on July 9th, 1400 UTC. And he did receive a reply asking, you know, so August, gotcha. And Anthony actually came out and stated that he is hoping for August 4th himself, but it could be pushed back a week or two from the date, depending on various factors. So at this point, once again, we still don't know exactly. What we do know though, is that the earliest will be August 4th, with of course a potential pushback one to two weeks. Our last timeline when we were talking about EIP 1559 in particular was going to be end of July to mid August. That timeline has been adjusted a little bit by pushing into early August to mid August. And so we are definitely out of the July range for the release of EIP 1559. And for the uninitiated, EIP 1559 is going to change the way the consensus mechanism works essentially. Being proof of work, Ethereum basically pays out a block reward and then pays out fees on top of the block reward to miners. The EIP 1559 in particular will be changing the fee structure in particular, redundancy, to basically remove a portion of the fees and burn them in a manner to cause Ethereum to go deflationary is what was kind of touted at the beginning and in an attempt to make fees more predictable, not to reduce fees necessarily, but to make them more predictable. It does this by basically calculating a base fee plus a tip. The tip portion is just what it sounds like. That's the tip to the miner to sort transactions and the base fee basically goes up, 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 and then resets over and over again. And the portion that is being burned will be the base fee. Current estimations of the reduction in mining profits is going to be around 15 to 20%, as opposed to initially what was expected to be 30 to 40%, uh, at least up until the decrease in fees in general on the Ethereum network. Uh, thanks to a lot of different factors, all the way from flash bots basically coming in and helping out with the reduction of fees for the end user, all the way to layer two solutions and of course side chains like Matic and Polygon. All of that are factors that have reduced fees already. And so now because those are, those are reduced, essentially what we're seeing is going to be EIP 1559 not impacting mining, as much as initially anticipated. Of course, this is an always changing target, trying to figure out estimations on how much mining profit you're getting or what potential there is. So I'll try to keep you guys up to date as much as possible on this channel. There we go, got a little stitch in my throat. Now, back here is some RGB. This is gonna increase our hash rate. Just kidding, but uh, yes, we got the RGB lights in, but we didn't get the table in for the test bench. That's coming. All of my rigs are also offline right now, which is super fantastic. Thanks to a bunch of 
power issues in the city. Thank goodness we're moving out of the city. So hopefully that will be all resolved shortly. But as of right now, because of flooding, I am not able to get out to my rigs and get them going. But we have a couple vlogs essentially covering that and we'll be you'll be able to follow along. If any of that sounds interesting, hit the sub notification bell and that like button down there to help out with the algorithm so that it pops up when those vlogs go live. Regarding EIP 1559 and London, I do not expect it to impact mining to the point of it not being profitable. However, we do still have to worry about ETH 2.0. I wanted to point out that the delays in EIP 1559 and the London hard fork kind of pushed me towards the, the ETH 2.0 or the merge that's supposed to happen at the end of 2021 or Q1 of 2022 is going to be pushed out to 2022. I do not see it to be feasible to be able to not only push out EIP 1559, but then immediately after, of course, push out the merge. It wouldn't really make much sense, especially considering that we already have gotten on the call with Tim Bako, the the statement essentially stating that there wouldn't be a merge happening if it was pushed out into the holiday season. Now, holiday season would be around November and December, which means, of course, you would need to see the merge happen before October for this to take place. If we don't even have the London hard fork by the you know end of July and we're looking at mid-August to even, honestly, even possibly late August, I don't think that technically they can push it out that far because of the difficulty bomb. We've discussed this before. If you need to check out another video, definitely go check that out. But even still, let's say mid-August, you're looking at September in October, you're looking at two months after a huge change to the consensus mechanism to then make a change to the consensus mechanism again, back to back, and I don't see that being viable. So it, in my opinion, I don't think we see the merge until Q1 of 2022, and possibly later and later uh, in that Q1, right? So we're talking about January, February, March. I'm thinking March, that's how I feel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Does it make sense to only have two and a half months after a major consensus mechanism change to then change it again? Is that even viable? Is that possible? I'm not sure. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it is. I'm curious what you guys think down in the comment section below. We will have to keep a close eye though on profitability for Ethereum, especially as it pertains to GPUs here, because once EIP in London come in, it's possible that other coins start taking the crown for most profitable coins. Some ideas surrounding there is going to be coins like Ergo and Ravencoin. If there are others that you're interested in and you think might be viable, let me know in the comment section below. If you're on 20 series GPUs too, because I've been looking at this pretty heavily, you do have Mimble Wimble coin. And we're gonna be talking about that this week because that is something that you should be paying attention to is that MWC, that Mimble Wimble, because Here's the deal, and we'll talk about this uh, in another video coming up here as well in relation to Varus coin or versus versus coin, excuse me, and some emails I've been getting because people are saying that these are scams. Look, even if Mimblewimble was a scam, let's just say, if you are mining, it actually doesn't matter much if you're mining and then trading out right away. And so I will be sure to cover even anything that's that could be potentially sketchy because pretty much all coins are going to be sketchy and that's really the end of the story you're going to need to be aware of like how to dip and dive and dodge these types of things especially if we're talking about rug pulls if you remember back in the day we had the sumo coin that then shifted into Ryo coin. That fork was because of a potential rug pull from the original developers of Sumo coin. And that's a huge, interesting kind of um, example of how, even if you do have a coin where there may be a rug pull happening or a planned rug pull or whatever, where other community members can come in, step in, fork that coin and protect of course, not only the miners, but the investors in those. 
And those are important people to have around. So whenever you think about Sumo Coin and Ryo Coin, make sure you go out and thank Fierce UK on Twitter and definitely use his miner for Monero because that was an awesome move on his part. Anyways, that one, I wanted to get that kind of clarification out. It was on the top of my head. EIP 1559, August 4th, possibly one to two weeks after August 4th. So sometime between August 4th and August 18th is what it's looking like at this point. And once again, don't forget to let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can watch more by clicking this playlist up here or go ahead and subscribe.